Hello, viewers and lovers of dragon games. My name is William Danger Bond, and as you can clearly tell, this is the first episode in my walkthrough of Spyro the Dragon for PlayStation 1. An original game. It's one of my favorite games of all time, just saying. And I think I've beaten it four times, maybe? I don't know. I lost count. No memory card. Who cares? Keep going. Uh, this episode, I'm just going to be showing you the um, the first, the artisan's world, and the how to beat the first level stone hill, so it might be kind of boring, okay, but rolling. who oh, cares? It's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six, <laughs> for a dragon's age? We now have 12,000 treasure, or... 12,000 treasure, so that's how many we need to collect to unlock the what about this bonus treasure world. Character? Yes. I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty North is a simple creature. Simple? Simple? Oh, hell no. In a remote world, and there's no threat to the dragon kingdom. No threat! Oh, no. Oh, oh no. An ugly. Ugly? Oh, they did not just go there. <laughs> turn those dragons into stone, Nasty North. They called you ugly. I imagine if your name is Nasty Nork, you shouldn't be offended by people calling you ugly, but whatever. So come on, Spyro, let's go save all the dragons by stepping on little plates in front of them. That clearly doesn't work, so you gotta step on the plates and free the dragon. This is the first one, his name is Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free oh, you're welcome. Free dragons in the Arctic world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. So Spyro is clearly a little eager to go beat up Nasty Nork. But first, we need to save all the dragons because they're a little bit more important. We also need to get back all the gems because Nasty Nork. Where is Nasty second. Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro! You oh, have much that? to learn first! Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's yes, helping and protecting yes. you! Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean! Wait... Basically what he was trying to tell me that is, uh, Sparks is basically my health meter, in a sense. And, uh, there's another dragon later on that tells us more about that, so I'll just let him explain it all. Right now, though, I need to find ten dragons in the Artisan's World and all the portals that lead to many worlds, such as this one, Stone Hill, which we'll be going to in just a second. Uh, in the beginning, it said that there were 12,000 gems at the Dragon World, which we need to collect all of them to unlock the final world, but we also need to... Uh, free all the dragons, and free all the dragons, and collect all the dragon eggs, and then we can unlock the, the last world, which is pretty worth it, so, just saying. Now, um, there's a hundred gems in this world, and maybe f four dragons, but now we're going into our first sub-level, which is Stone Hill, and, let's see, it's kind of like the the boring first tutorial level but uh let's let's see we can we can make it fun you and me together so let's do this i'm going to be collecting every gem dragon and dragon egg along the way so and murdering every animal viciously with my horns i'm a dragon i have horns and every fire so uh, we're gonna wait and go down that well for later. There's actually a treasure chest down there, and I want to get the key first. There's also a dragon down there. Ah, speaking of that, the key's actually around here, so. Oh. So let's murder another animal. And this right here is an extra life. So when I break that, it gives me a little, a little extra life. And now here is our second dragon. An Astor. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex thingamajig. That's the guy from the interview. Let's get back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No, <laughs> no, no. Bye. 
Second, I meant third. My bad. Well, uh, this is obviously the right there, for the return home. That we just stand in that, and then it swirls us upwards, and then we go home. It's a it's a pretty simple mechanic. I'm no no really need for me to even explain it at all. And here's the key to the treasure chest that I told you about earlier. And kadoom, skadoosh. Um, destroy this. Yes. Uh, I might as well take the time to mention right now that red gems are worth one, green gems are worth two, blue gems are worth five, and then the rare purple gem is worth 25. So now let's go down this well. Get some more gems. Um, unlock the chest with the key we just found, which only has maybe like 10 gems in it, so not really worth locking up for people who just leave their treasures all over the landscape, but whatever. Let's rescue our fourth dragon, Gavin, the normal Watch name. the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, huh. Sure. Now we got a badass over here. Yes, so, uh, what I said earlier, earlier about the sp the dragonfly sparks being the health meter. Basically, when he's gold like this, um, I have full health. When he is light blue, I have been hit once. When he is green, I've been hit twice. And then he'll go away, and once he goes away, one hit and I'm dead. So, yeah, that's a little unfortunate. Right here, we're going to collect all these gems, and then we're going to... We are going to rescue our fifth dragon, whose name does not come to me at the moment, but we are going to find out in like five seconds. So just just chill. Lindar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Well, you know, you're welcome for saving your life, you sarcastic son of a bitch. Okay. Well, we've got all the dragons on this side. I believe there's one more on, like, the, the other half of this world. And there's a good amount of more gems. And that little, that little douchebag up there is a, an egg thief. Who's... There's, there's lots of them scattered throughout all the levels. And they basically stole all of our eggs. And without our babies... We cannot, you know, reproduce and have babies. I don't know. Apparently Spyro's like the only young dragon there is, though, so I don't... It's probably because they stole all the eggs, so, you know, whatever. Yeah. All the dragon eggs, there's, I think, maybe 12 in total in the entire game. Uh, once we collect all of them, it's just a s one step closer to unlocking the secret level, which is awesome. So, ooh, next dragon, last dragon of this certain level. Sparrow, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? Sparrow, my For the friend. longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump, and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. How does Spyro know what button to press? He doesn't have the controller. I do. Those are some weird directions. If someone actually gave me those directions in real life, I, 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 I wouldn't know what to do. Okay, let's see. Spyro, jump up here. Okay, changing the camera angle is kind of hard in this game. I'll give it that, but right here, and let's glide. Now, get some gems up there. Some gems on the edge. I gotta be careful not to walk off because I've done that before. It's kind of embarrassing. And there's the egg thief. Egg thieves are these little blue guys, and they just run away from you because they're pussies. And they can't take one hit. So, yeah, get that dragon egg. Pretty sure there's some more, like, gems scattered around over here. So, I'm going to make a quick run through and make sure I'm not missing any. Which I'm not, so that was a complete waste of time. I am sorry, everybody, for wasting your time. Um... What do you, wait, you were the one who got on the internet in the first place, so. Ooh, extra gem. We're getting close to 200 gems, and once we get the 200 gems, we're 
going to leave because there would be no use in us staying any longer unless you just wanted to admire the scenery which um i don't so play the game yourself trust me it's a it's a fun game it's a fun game if you get stuck just watch these videos i'll help you out i got your back because you know we're we're like we're homies now we're, we're friends we could be like part of a gang Maybe not a gang. You could be a part of a faction, or a or a guild, or we could just, you know, viewer, entertainer. Entertainer might not be the best word. Player of games. Is that it? Uh, of course. I have one green gem left to find. Uh, this is gonna drive me crazy. Where is it? Where is it? It could be anywhere in this world. Oh my god. Come on. I'd like to not go over the 15 minute run time and have to split up the first level into two parts. Come on. I introduced myself as a professional of this game. My god, this is embarrassing. Okay. Is there any... Anywhere over here? Did I forget to kill a ram? I don't think so. Look at the pitter patter of Spyro's feet. He's so cute. Come on. Dude, the fuck? Wait, is that a chest? Yes, it is. And a green gem. Good, good. And 200 out of 200 gems. We've got 4 out of 4 stars and the 1 dragon egg at this level. So we are good to go home. Honestly, I could have just pressed. What? exit level oh whoops I didn't mean to do that I meant to actually go to the return home pad but anyway <laughs> thank you for watching um, next time we will be you know exploring the artisans a little more and probably going into dark hollow or the city high heights city heights I don't know I'm not completely sure of the names but I will be going around and I'm going to collect all the rest of the gems and all the rest of the dragons because that's kind of what this entire series is about. Oh. You bastard. Alright, well, I'm William Danger Bond and I've got to go. So, see ya.